This is a story about barbecue. But first, let's get something straight. There is barbecue, and then there is a barbecue. They are not the same thing. Smoke gets your eyes. A lot of people say having a barbecue is just a party. Throwing some burgers, throwing some dogs on a gas grill. But authentic, traditional American barbecue is hardwood cooked with low heat over a long, long period of time with a little bit of spice and a little bit of sauce, and it's an art. In his day job, Emmett Todd is a UPS driver, but once a month, he sheds the brown and dons a white apron to become the guru of grilling, the sensei of smoke, the professor of pork. Emmett Todd, you see, does more than cook and eat barbecue. He lives it and teaches it. Todd turned his hobby and passion into a fledgling business. With help from his family, he runs the Backyard Barbecue School at Lakes Park in Fort Myers. Admitting he himself was not a natural, Todd said the class grew out of his own faltering attempts to become a better barbecuer. I got the love of cooking from my father, and I wanted to make real barbecue the authentic way and tried all kinds of stuff, crazy stuff that never really worked out. And eventually my wife bought me some books and I took a class in Jacksonville. Todd says he started using his family, friends, and fellow church members as a tasting board instead of a sounding board without great success. For a while there, it was thumbs down. And then eventually I kind of developed it to where everybody started liking it. And then we got really good. And then I got the idea for the class because I knew there were a lot more people out there just besides me who wanted to learn how to cook better than restaurant quality barbecue but didn't really have the tools or the resources or the time of the patient. So that's how I got into wanting to do barbecue and wanting to teach the class. Believe it or not, there's more to barbecue than food. There's the sense of doing something very basic, almost primitive, cooking much the way it was done centuries ago. Then there is the social interaction and camaraderie that is summoned by the smoke and aroma. For some, it borders on the spiritual. The attitude basically for me evolves my, around my family. And it's providing something that's a hobby that where I spend a few hours at at a Saturday afternoon, slow cooking barbecue, and then my family gets it. It's not where I go golfing and I'm off swinging a golf club away from my family all day long. I'm not off fishing away from my family all day long. It involves and centered around building the relationship with my family, building relationship with my neighbors and my friends. And that's the big part about barbecue. Some who take the class are novices, eager to enter the world of backyard barbecue. Others are skilled and experienced grillers looking to hone their abilities to the next level. By his own admission, however, George Rushdie does not fit into that latter category. Am I veteran skilled backyard barbecuer? I would uh, say that that is probably the exact opposite of what I am. Rushdie said the class was a Father's Day present from family members who may have had an ulterior motive. They would like in the future to be able to eat the, uh, the food that I cook. It's hard to know for sure when and where barbecue originated. Its roots can be traced back hundreds, perhaps thousands of years to when ancient native Caribbean people used green sticks to build cooking grills called barbacot. I want to talk a little bit about the beginnings of barbecue. The actual word barbecue comes from a word barbacote, and you can see up here this is kind of an interesting picture, and it kind of gives you a, a picture of how old barbecue is. These are some Indians. These are pre-American uh, civilization Indians, and they're cooking over this fire. And if you think about it, um, it is the oldest cooking technique. Backyard barbecue is generally considered kind of a guy thing. Women master the subtleties and nuances of the kitchen. Men prefer smoke, fire, and charred meat. The backyard barbecue class did little to dispel that notion. Of the 14 students on hand on this Saturday, only one was a woman. I was very surprised that I was the only um, woman in the class. 
and um, my husband and I do everything as a team when we do our um, barbecuing, so we thought it would be a great team effort. So far we've had a lot of guys come, but I've talked to a lot of ladies that have a lot of interest in uh, grilling. And I've talked to a few specifically that they're the backyard griller or barbecuer and their husbands could care less because they've got other interests. Todd says the key to barbecue is a good smoker, one that cooks low and slow. He makes his own and hopes to market them someday. You hear it sizzling? Man, that was perfect. That couldn't have happened any better. Emmett Todd says he wants to demystify the art of barbecue so the novice backyard griller can produce what he calls better than restaurant quality barbecue. His presentation touches all the bases, from the right tools to preparing the meat, to starting the fire, to making the rubs and sauces, and naturally, the actual cooking. But ironically, Todd's quest to demystify barbecue left some of his students surprised to learn just how much is actually involved. I'm very surprised there's so much um, to real barbecue. I did not know a lot of the stuff, the techniques, until today. There's a lot more to barbecuing than I would have thought. The taste of barbecue is as robust and diverse as the people who cook and consume it. Each region of the country has its own style and flavor, its own blend of smoke and spice. In South Carolina and Georgia, we have kind of a different flavor, and that would be the mustard-based sauce. Any reason why we would have mustard-based sauce in Georgia and South Carolina? You're going to see that each region takes its flavoring from whatever is readily available in their area. So whether you hail from Memphis or North Carolina, prefer pork over beef, or like your sauces hot, sweet, or tangy, once those coals start glowing, you become part of an American tradition, the Brotherhood of Barbecue. A big driving factor for me to do this is because it's a hobby, it's an interest that gives back. It doesn't just serve me, it serves a lot of people around you. It can serve the, you know, the people in your family, and it can serve your neighbors, it can serve your uh, church friends, and that's the really cool thing about barbecue, it rolls my socks up and down. <laughs>